Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome to Axe to My Ox. Where we challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. <laughs> this right here is my sensational wife, Fiona. And this right here, this is my fantastic husband, Aize. All right, y'all, we got a question, and, and um, I'm going to go ahead and read it. I have been married for five months, and I'm beginning to reach my breaking point. I don't know what to do. After being married for one month, I discovered that my new husband was on dating websites and giving women his number. After confronting him, he deleted his accounts and told me that he would not talk to these women again. This, of course, caused a great deal of insecurity with me and within our marriage. I couldn't believe that he was doing this after just one month of marriage. Was there something I was or wasn't doing that made him feel he needed to seek out someone else? Was I not enough? Of course, I asked him all of these questions, and he said that I was enough, and it wasn't anything I was doing. He said it was just something he did for no reason. Of course, this has caused a great deal of insecurity for me about our marriage. My husband is currently taking to is, is currently talking to women he knew before we got married. He talks to this woman on the phone multiple times a day, almost every day. I have asked him repeatedly if he is if he is talking to this woman, and he continues to deny it flat out and lie to me. I know how often he is talking to these women because I can see the call records. Most of the time, he is the one doing the calling. I am, I am getting more and more frustrated because he continues to lie. I don't know what to do about it. It has gotten to the point where I have looked up divorce lawyers and procedures in our state. This is my first marriage and his second. His first marriage ended because he cheated. He says he's not cheating on me, but I believe that cheating is not only physical or sexual, but cheating can also be emotional. And I feel that he's betraying me by talking to this woman <clears> on a daily <throat> basis and then lying to me about it. We started marriage counseling where he said that he would pull back on talking to this woman. But he hasn't. Pull back. <laughs> I am at a loss and I don't know what to do. Should I, should I just try to stick, out, stick it out and continue to go to marriage counseling in hopes that it would change? How should I address him about this situation? Because obviously, simply asking him is not working because he continues to lie. Should I just be secure and believe that they are just friends and there's nothing going on? Any advice you can give would be much appreciated. Thank you. Okay. This will be short and sweet. I guess I'll answer it like this. <clears throat> if you were coming to us and you wrote that letter and then you decided, you and your husband, that you were going to come to counseling with us, one of the first things that we would do is we would have individual sessions with the both of you. And I know for a fact that in the session that my husband would have with your husband, he would just say, look, real talk, you've been doing your thing. You've been getting it in. You're calling. You're having these inappropriate conversations, relations, what have you, with other women or this other woman. Obviously, there's a disconnect between you and your wife. There's an underlying issue. There's something we need to get to in order for you all to be able to heal and go to the next level. We cannot build when the foundation is fucked up. We cannot go to another level if you're going to still be doing little stuff on the side. We don't have time to play games. Mm -hmm. We don't want to waste your time. And it's not fair to waste your wife's time or to waste your time. If you're not there, then let us know. If you're not there, then let her know. If you want us to have a session to facil facilitate an honest conversation and let her know mm -hmm. so that she can move on with her life, then we can do that. But real talk, if you ain't ready, then how do we help you depart and go separate ways? Nobody has time for foolishness. You're telling me that you're looking and he said, no, no, I'm not talking to her, but you can see the call records and he's still talking to her. You're telling me y'all have gone to marriage counseling and he said he's going to pull back when he should just cut it out right. and, and he's still doing it. You're telling me that you can't even get a gauge on what's really real because he's just doing him. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody got time for that. Very rarely do we give an opinion on whether people should separate or not because we really do believe uh, with the exception of some very concrete kinds of issues, that that's a personal choice and a personal decision. And everybody has a different threshold in terms of what they're able to deal with in their lives. But there are certain things that just make us say, ain't nobody mm. got time for that foolishness. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. Would you say that this is one of those times, boo? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't ready to get married. Oh my lord! And he's not ready to be married. So you know, I think that you really need to like understand that he's not in a space where he's ready to be in a committed relationship. And and um, I think that you need to ask yourself the question: hmm. Why do I find myself attached or attracted to even consider the possibility mm -hmm. of remaining in a relationship with this type of dude? Mm -hmm. Slim Getting into game. it. Yeah, I mean, he, he's um mm -hmm. he's running game. Now, you have enough sense to ask this question and to know that there is foolishness going on. But the question is, what are you going to do with the foolishness? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, again, he could possibly change. I can guarantee he won't change tomorrow. He won't change next week. This is habitual behavior that serves him in some way, mm -hmm. some reason mm -hmm. that he's doing this. Right. You're not going to discover it. He has to discover it for himself. So I would encourage you to step away from this. Maybe press pause, separate if you don't want to do a divorce. But again, he's not ready. He's not ready to be married right now. And this is from one guy <clears throat> speaking about another guy. And I'm speaking to you, sister. He's not ready to be married to you. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have gotten married in the first place with this type of behavior going on. Mm -hmm. He's playing games. Whether he realizes it or not is irrelevant. At the end of the day, he needs to, you need to, stop playing and start, start pushing. pushing.